Let me say first of all that um, I've been in the uh, been uh, destroying artists' careers for 45 years, <laughs> and I have to tell you that they've been mainly unsuccessful. The, the occasional successful artists, but most of them have been unsuccessful and have gone off to do other things, and that's been the case forever. And I think we should be mindful of that. And also, in my years as a manager and, uh, and all the other stuff I've done, most artists think that what they're doing is fantastic and unbelievable, and why the hell don't people give them a lot of money? <laughs> and I have to say that in my experience, most artists are just more of the same. And I think we should be realistic about that. There is exceptional artists, and there are artists who are expressing themselves and having a good time and good luck to them. And there are artists who are exceptional and we wish to pay to go and see them, to buy their records or to whatever, or to relate to them in some way. This, I think, is an important point. If you have a following, whatever the technology, you can make a living. Somehow, somewhere, with someone, somehow. The ways you do it now are different from what they were 45 years ago, but they're still there. And we have to think about how we deal with it. Being rather old, I also have a historical view of things. And I think we have to look at what we did in Europe as to how we get paid for radio in Europe. We have two collection societies in the UK, essentially, called PPL and PRS. PPL collects for the recordings and PRS collect for the underlying works. Historically, these were uh, also all over Europe and there was a beginnings of a system, albeit very imperfect. But it was a way in which radio could pay for the music that they used. In the US, you have developed the splendid sound exchange, which we don't have. Sound exchange, a lot of bitching and moaning, I'm sure. But let me tell you, it's collecting from a lot of people and making it easy for people to pay. That is the key. We have to make it easy for people to pay. It probably also requires that people shouldn't always be aware of the fact that they're paying. You know, when you watch TV, it's free. No, it's not. You're paying for it. You're paying for your uh, cable, perhaps, or just pay through the goods that you buy in the shop for the absurd adverts you have to put up with. You're paying for the absurd political adverts that you have to put up with because someone somewhere is making money which is paying for those things. Nothing is free, or very little is. I don't know if they've got a meter on the air yet, but they're working on it. <laughs> so anyway, um, so in all that context, let me say that I think that uh, the other thing which has come to me from what we've been talking about today so far is that artists have to aggregate, they have to work together. The interesting thing is the Creators Content Creators Coalition. What's not interesting is no mention of the AFMM, no mention of AFTRA, no mention of the Music Managers Forum, no mention of the Future of Music Coalition. I mean, for God's sake, how many organisations do we have to do which say the same thing? which is, for God's sake, pay us. And I think that is the clear message. There's a huge amount of money, which was coming in the last presentation, there's huge amounts of money going through the net. All we've got to do is to put up our hands and say, we want our fair share. Historically, that fair share has been snagged. One hand, you have the creators, on the other hand, you have the end users. In between those people have been, when in the old days of records, there were record companies, there were publishers, there were retailers, there were wholesalers, there were distributors, there were manufacturers, there were managers, there were agents, there were unions. All these people taking a bite. What's changed? Let's try and see if we can cut down some of those people so that the money flows more easily from the End users who are paying for their who are paying for their, uh, their, their their network connections, who are paying for their devices. How can we find some money flowing from them to the creators? 
And it won't be to all the creators. It will go to the popular creators. It will go to bloody Justin Bieber. It will go to Lady Gaga. <laughs> Do I like that? No. But that's the price I have to pay for some money going to Billy Bragg. And that's what we have to realise. We can't say, well, my stuff is more valuable than your stuff. We have to say that all content in some way is equal. You can't make decisions as to what's got value. You as an individual can. You can sign up to special services and maybe artists can have their special services. Maybe we need to have lots of different ways of accessing music online. Maybe we've got to make it easy for lots of new services to develop which do access music. What's a scandal about Spotify is that it's the only one. That's the scandal. The scandal of Spotify is that we don't know what the deal is. That's the scandal. Who's, where's the money coming from? Where it's going to? Why am I getting so little? That's the issue. And I think if the artists and the creators and the writers and all the people who are involved in making the music got their shit together and worked together, and stop being so effing precious about what my art and all that stuff. We'll all be in a better position. Let me also say, that anyone who thinks that we can control the internet is up their ass. <laughs> Basically, it is uncontrollable. All we can hope to do is to get paid. And I think we can hope to get paid. We have to work on getting paid. And we have to work together on getting paid in the same way that they worked out in the end how you could pay to get a song put onto a recording. There was a system. And it's probably, dare I say it, collective. It might involve unions. It might involve all sorts of things which are not strictly individualistic and free enterprise. And I recommend that. I recommend that we think about collective action in order to get people paid sensibly. Um, I think that will do. I've had enough, I think. <laughs>